What's up, YouTube? This is Aaron. I um, am back out on another stroll and want to deliver another message to you today. But before I get started, please share this video. Um, please like the video and uh, hit the bell for notifications. The uh, channel is growing right now and I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Before I get into the um, meat of this video, as one of my favorite YouTubers used to say, uh, there's a few things I want to go over. Just quick, quick observation that I see on Instagram, Facebook. You know, these Instagram models, they'll never say a word. This doesn't have anything to do with the, the message for today, I don't think. It might have a little bit, but... You know, the Instagram models, I'm not going to go into too many details on that, but you never hear them talk. They just take pictures, turned around, and they have all of these followers. Get all these likes. You know, hey, look, they look good. I understand that, you know, millions of followers. They don't, you, they don't do anything. Just take pictures, turn around. And it's crazy, you know, you put in all this time making content, <laughs> don't get as many views, you know, don't get as many likes. So hit the like button. I, I think that's what kind of, you know, had me thinking about that. Hit the like button, please. Share the video. Because uh, my content that I talk about is kind of, hopefully, is thought provoking. And that is not going to get talked about as much as fighting and you know, violence and all this other stuff. So I need you guys to share the video. So let me get on with the message here. And you have seen the title. Don't follow your passion. So this is an uncomfortable topic that I'm going to talk about. And... What I think I want to go into on this message, I want to t touch on some of the things that I've said in the past, because I've talked about, you know, different cliches I've said, like go after your dreams, which is a cliche because that's within reason, <laughs> okay? And the reason why I say that is sometimes you have to hold off on some of your passionate things until you can uh, develop a revenue stream. Check out my video on the revenue stream. So sometimes your passion is not going to be producing a revenue stream, so you're going to have to put that on hold, okay? And one of the reasons why I think a lot of times you hear a lot of these cliches is, is that people who love you, they don't really want to expose the truth to you. Because the truth is kind of scary. <laughs> the world is kind of scary, actually. And so the people who love you, they keep you in this bubble and they say, look, don't do that. Don't go after that dream. Do this instead. Go the safe route. And the reason why they're doing that is because they love you. Okay. They say that those things to you because they love you. And they don't want you to really be exposed to certain things. But in a certain way, that kind of hinders your growth. So the reason why I'm telling you that you don't always want to follow your passion is because sometimes when you're following your passion, you're not gonna be making any money. And as I always say in my videos on the first of the month, the bill collectors, they're pretty serious about collecting their money. And you can't really tell them that, you know, you're following your passion to weave baskets underwater and sell them on the open market. 
that's just a uh, blatant truth. Some of you guys know my story. I own a service-based business. That's a cleaning business. You know, I wasn't always really thinking uh, that I would be in this type of business. But um, I do enjoy doing it. But ultimately, is it my true, true passion? Probably not. But, you know, I have to pay my bills. And I can, it's in a, uh, you know, it's a business that I can grow. And that's kind of my passion, growing a business, being in business for myself. But exactly what I'm doing, is it my true passion? Probably not 100%. But one thing that I try to teach my children in life is that life is not a straight line. You know, it takes its turns. So you kind of have to learn as you go along. And so that's what I wanted to talk about in this video. That sometimes you have to push your passion to the back burner. Another thing I wanted to touch on is finding your, pers your, your purpose in life. That may be finding your passion. I, I, I don't really know, but I just wanted to touch on a, a specific topic in terms of finding your purpose, finding your what. Let's just say finding your way in life. What I would preach to younger people is that before you have another adult come into your life, you need to establish your way of life, your purpose, your financial standing, your stability in life. I'm not going to go into the specifics of that because unfortunately we live in a time where I know when I can say certain things to be controversial. I'm not trying to be controversial. I'm trying to deliver a message when I'm making these videos. So just hear what I'm saying and we come into this world alone. We come in naked by ourselves. And, you know, society tells us that we should couple up after a while. And that's good. That's a good thing, actually. I have nothing against that. So hear me when I say this. I have nothing against with coupling up with another adult and forming a bond and going on to live your life. But before you do that, the message what I'm saying is before you do that, you need to find your purpose in life. You need to be financially stable. And what I'm saying to you is the truth. That's the thing is I'm not saying something that feels comfortable. A lot of people are disagree with, oh, that don't make sense. Y'all can build together. I'm going to tell you the truth. And this is from a man's perspective. I have to at least say that. It's from a man's perspective. In today, in and I'm talking about in 2023. Okay? In 2023. I'm not talking about 1940s, 1950s. I'm talking about the truth now. Before you have another adult human being come into your life it's best that you should be established that's all I'm going to say about that so I don't want to continue to ramble on I don't want these videos to be too long because I know that we live in the age of TikTok and people's attention span is not that long so I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video Hopefully I've uh, delivered a coherent message uh, with this video. And let me walk over here because I'm trying to keep my an anonymity, at least a little bit of it, you know. So um, hopefully you guys are enjoying my videos. Go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel and share these videos. Um, YouTube, like I said... 
I'm not talking about violence. I'm not talking about sex, drugs, and rock and roll. So, therefore, um, I'm not going to get as many views in the algorithm. So, if you could do that. And I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video like this. Channel's growing. And the big world is starting to notice. So, for all the people in the small world who like to talk about me, I like to gossip about other people. In the words of the great Deion Sanders, no matter what you try to do, you're not going to be able to stop it. Because I'm not going to stop. Because I'm going somewhere. And I ain't driving. God is. <laughs>